open. All right, guys, so we came in today. The store here yesterday wasn't doing that well. The day before didn't do that well. And, uh, and it happens, you know what I mean? But a lot of times it's not because of the lack of not having the customers as you see here at Walmart walking by, you know what I mean? So today, all we focused on just today was handing out flyers. That's all we did today. So we have a stack of flyers right here, right? I probably handed out 50 flyers. Out of those 50 flyers, I talked to over 15 people about broken devices. Out of those 15 people that I talked to, five of them dropped off their devices to get repaired. So yesterday they did under $200 in sales. Today we're already projected 700 plus. Just because we were handing out flyers, we didn't even do our follow-ups on phone calls that we have, that we've missed over the last couple uh, days. So we didn't even focus on the phone calls of old customers and follow-ups. All we focused on was the customers that were right here in front of us. And we tripled the sales of yesterday. So it's there for you guys. It's, it's proven. It's live. We're doing this live. You know what I mean? Uh, so if you do these kind of things, just this alone, today we tripled the sales. So we have, uh, you always got to look at your competition, right? And talk to them, communicate with them. We're in the same industry, right? We got to take care of each other. There's plenty of business to go around. So he's literally across the street from this Walmart store. And I call him, I go, come over here, let's talk. Let's, you know, I got a customer that wants to buy a couple phones. You got phones. I don't have the phones right now. I can get them. But if I need a customer to get the stuff right now, like I know I can leverage you. Yeah. So he's coming over here right now. We're just going to chat and, and just see what we can do together. Maybe he can do repairs that we can't do. We can do repairs he can't do. We can kind of leverage each other. Maybe he needs a part that I don't have, he doesn't have, vice versa. So it's just all about leveraging each other. And that's what we're gonna do. So he's walking up right now uh, and we're gonna talk to him. What's up, bro? Come on, man. What's going on? How you doing? Everything you know, good? You know what I'm saying. Come on. This is Lee's mobile. Guy's been doing repairs. How long have you been doing repairs? You you you're looking fresh, huh? Oh. <laughs> you just gotta build a relationship. That's it, that's it. Build. You ran out of phone? Yeah, I mean, I wanna get him. I wanna get him. I have my headphones. I just don't, I wanted, I wanted you to come here. I wanted to give you a bone to get your ass over here. Because you have, I'm telling you, come here. Have you seen the shop right now? Yeah, I've You've been in the back? No, I ain't been in the back. Yeah, I don't know, man. These folks don't know who I am. So one of the biggest things when you're doing this kind of stuff and you're intaking it, like, you want to get the password for the device and you want to get the customer's information, the phone number, the first name, last name, email definitely, make sure you get the email and a phone number. And then once you get that content, let them go. So they're, they're gone. So there's no double thinking where they're going to want to leave or anything like that. Everything else, like the IMEI number, which I'm going to input, um, the issue, what's wrong with it, all the other data, I'm going to put in the price, everything, um, and print the ticket out. So just get all the, get the information that you, is valid that you need right now just to get them out the door so it doesn't scare them or make them second guess, you know?